This is going to be a tactic video talking about a very common tech chase situation in the Falcon Ditto. So the situation we're in is that we have Falcon Dittos and we get a grab at the middle of the stage at 0%. And we have to figure out what kind of follow-up can we do when this Falcon lands on the platform. Normally when we throw a character over top of one of these side platforms, we like to start an up air chain. But at 0%, he stays too low and he gets a chance to tech on the platform. The question is, what follow-up will cover all of his tech options? The answer is that we're going to do a pivot, short hop, late up air. The claim of this video is that this will cover all of the tech options our opponent has. So first we do a nice long pivot so that we are a little bit under the platform. And our short hop needs to be pulled backwards so that we land just underneath the platform and maybe a little bit on the inside of the stage of the middle. As you'll see here, we do this late up air so that we can cover all of the tech options and the timing you'll get just by practicing. Let's take a look at how this is with hitbox mode on. You can see that Falcon's up air really is huge, and so this red hitbox is going to come out, and that covers the entirety of the platform. You can also see, since it's bigger behind us, we can be pretty far to the left and almost cover the entire thing. So we really want our short hop to get pulled back so that we land just a little bit on the left of the middle if we're throwing them to the right. If our opponent techs to the left, we're going to hit them with a forward-facing up air because we've pivoted. That will push them off the platform since up air hits you slightly forward and then we can just follow up with whatever combo we want. After the up air we do need a little bit of a dash for our up smash and sometimes this will mean that it's easiest to continue the combo if you turn around afterwards. This setup looks very flashy if the opponent texts to the right because we're going to get them with the hook part of our up air and we can just immediately do another dash and up smash and once again do whatever combo we want to kill them. If your opponent is instinctively just trying to put as much space between you as possible by teching away, this will give you really easy combos over the edge. Tech in place is a little bit trickier because our up air is just going to force another tech chase situation. Fortunately we're standing right where we need to be to do another short hop late up air. If they tech behind us, then we push them off the platform with the up air and we can up smash. If they tech in front of us, then the same thing will happen. And so now you're just at the point where you're doing your standard up air combos after landing the up smash. If they tech in place multiple times, we just respond by short hop late up airs. Eventually, either there will be high enough percent that our up air will be able to start a chain without them teching, or they'll just get pushed off the side when they tech left or right. The trickiest situation is when your opponent doesn't tech at all. Most of the time, you can just do an up smash directly after your up air, and that'll be enough. Strictly speaking, the pivot isn't actually necessary here. So you can easily just do symmetric punishes by not pivoting at all and just doing a short hop late up air. Now when they tech to the right, you'll do the same punish as if they tech left. When they tech in place, obviously everything is the same. You're just going to keep following up with the short hop up airs and then doing whatever combo you want to. But the reason I recommend you learn to do the pivot if you can is in the situation where your opponent techs inward and your hook and then up smash gives them a chance to tech on top platform. 